you see a typical dusty situation on a construction job site and i'm sure dust is something which concerns us all and this is what we will be discussing today how to get rid of this dust using healthy dust free technology as promised in first episode hello everyone i am akash your digital account manager and welcome to second episode of healthy live today i am at healthy stores so let's go inside and come along with me so this is a place where you can come directly to see the complete range of healthy products under one roof wherein we have healthy store representative to help you select the right product as per your application and today i am going to discuss about healthy's dust free technology and today with us is my colleague who will show us how you can increase productivity and safety on construction job site so meet rohit tyagi hello rohit hello akash and thanks for the invitation so rohit would you like to introduce yourself and tell us what you have got inside this tool case so about the tool case akash it's a surprise which we will discuss later i should keep it here yeah sure back to your question my name is rohit tyagi i am product manager for chemical anchor india business excited to be here on the healthy live episode thanks rohit for introducing yourself and guys let's do one thing those who are watching us why don't you take a guess and mention down in the comment section below that which tool we are carrying inside this tool case and let's see who gets it right so today we are going to discuss about dust how does it affect not only your health but also performance of the anchor and we'll show you how you can get rid of the dust using healthy dust free technology and moreover since i am here today we would love to show you how you can save time and money for all your chemical anchoring and rebarring applications at your job sites so stay tuned till the end of live session to see the complete demo and please feel free to share your questions and opinions in the comment section below because we will be answering them at the end of the episode and now let's discuss about dust so rohit would you like to tell us that how does dust affect our health and what are some risks associated with dust on construction job site so there are a lot of risks which are related to dust at a construction job site the primary is the lack of productivity in an application the lack of comfort and third is the health and safety hazards if you see we inhale lot of dust on the construction job sites daily this may lead to acute lung disease like silicosis and with time it can also turn chronic and may also cause lung cancer thanks rohit for letting us know the effect of dust on our health and now tell us does dust also affect the performance of the anchor while we are installing them on a construction job site using chemical anchors of course so not only about the health and safety hazards but also the performance if the drilled hole is not cleaned properly so your chemical will simply bond with the dust inside the hole and not with the base material concrete this may lead to up to 70% load capacity reduction for anchoring and rebarring and this may also lead to fatal accidents at the job sites but rohit i have generally seen people using these blow out pumps and brush on the construction job site to clean the hole what do you say so this is one of the ways to clean the drilled holes at construction job sites generally these kind of blow out pumps and brushes are used at the job sites but what if i show you something very innovative and very productive where you need not to use these brushes and blow out pumps sounds interesting so what's the healthy solution so today we bring for you the healthy safe set system the complete peace of mind and if you see this drill bit it's a hollow drill bit so if you see the tip of the bit there are holes so while drilling the bit gets connected to a vacuum cleaner which is hilti vc20 vacuum cleaner and once you start drilling the entire dust gets sucked so you not only creating a dust free and safer environment but also ensuring that your drilled holes are cleaned properly and safe for use and now let's do a demo to see how safe and productive it is to use safe set using hollow drill bit and vacuum cleaner so it's time for action why not and let's wear our pp equipments so it includes our safety shoes then these gloves 
and then the safety glasses. And if you are on a job site, I request you to please wear helmet as well. And the tool that we will be using today for demo is T50 AVR along with hammer drill bit which is 25 mm dia and which tool you are carrying away today so i will be using a t50 avr drilling machine with a hollow drill bit which is attached to a vacuum cleaner vc20 also what we will be doing is we will be using these bowls which are empty and we will be placing them just beside the concrete where we will be drilling to capture how much dust do we collect using both the systems so let's do it so let me place the bowl And let's see how much dust we have collected now. Here it is Akash for you. Thanks Rohit. And guys now you can see this is the bowl in which I drilled using hammer drill bit and this is the bowl in which we use hollow drill bit. And you can see the difference in two. You can see the dust and over here there is no virtual dust. And now you would be wondering that where is the dust gone while we were using hollow drill bit and now let me show you where it is come along with me so let me open vacuum cleaner vc20 and you can see over here there is the dust that we have collected which was sucked from the hollow drill bit inside the vacuum cleaner and this is the reason there is no dust inside this hole that we drilled with vacuum cleaner and the life of hollow drill bit is almost similar the life of hammer drill bit and now let's see over here if you will see over here there is a lot of dust which is present on the floor apart from this bowl moreover there is a lot of dust inside this hole and now we need to clean it for which i will be using this blow out pump and brush and as per ETA approval you have to do first blow then brush and then again blow so let's do it and you can see all the dust that is there is coming out and now I will be using this brush and the way to do is you rotate it and then insert and then you push and then you do it again to ensure there should be no dust inside the hole and now again we have to use this blow pump and you can see still there is a lot of dust that is coming out and you see it is such a time taking process when you are using a hammer drill bit whereas with the help of hollow drill bit you don't need to do it at all and now I will be dispensing chemical inside this hole and I will be using this manual dispenser so whenever you use a new foil inside this manual dispenser the standard procedure is that you dispense three triggers outside first 
to ensure that there is proper mixture of both the components inside the file. And now let's insert the chemical. So where we go? And now you would be wondering how much volume of chemical I will be insert, inserting inside this hole. So to answer that, I will be putting the same amount of volume that I have generally seen on the job side, that is two third the volume of the hole. So now we are putting the chemical. Now I will be inserting the rebar and the rebar that I will be using today is M20 dia rebar and the embedment depth is 200 mm. Thanks Rohit. And whenever you insert the rebar, always remember to rotate it and then insert it like this so that the chemical gets mixed properly. And now you can see there's a lot of wastage of chemical that has happened and this is what I have seen generally on the job side that this is how it happens and, and let's see this was a traditional method that what is a more productive and safer way with the help of my friend Rohit. So over to you Rohit. Thank you for this installation Akash. I have got a bit smarter way of calculating the volume of motor. So generally what happens at the job sites the person who is executing is not aware how much chemical to be dispensed in one hole and in that scenario there is huge wastage of the chemical. What we have brought Hilti volume calculator app. The app is available on Android and iOS both. You can simply go to the play store, search for Hilti volume calculator and you can download. Once downloaded you will see the icon like this. You click the icon you will get different applications. So you see it is for anchoring in concrete, it is for anchoring in masonry and you also get an option for rebarring. So I will click simply rebar and then you will see different chemicals. So you just select which chemical you are using. So today we are using Hilti RE500 V3. I will click RE500 V3 and as a next step it will ask you the diameter of rebar which you are installing. So today we are installing 20 mm rebar. I simply click it. 20 and the next step is it gives you an option to manually input the embedment depth. So for our case we are taking 200 mm, I insert 200, I click OK and as the last step you will see the drilling diameter. So for a 20 mm rebar the drilling diameter is 25 mm, if I click 25 you will see the result. So if I can show you the report the app gives you an optimized result of 47 ml. And not only this, the beauty of the app is you can generate a PDF report like this. You can store this, you can share this at your job sites, at your offices. So this is one of the most optimized ways that we have brought to avoid the wastage, to minimize the wastage at the construction job sites. Now back to your question, what is inside this box? Let me open it now and show you guys. So inside the box we have got a battery operated chemical dispenser that comes with a chargeable battery. I simply fix the battery like this. It has a dosing knob at the top of the dispenser. This is given to freeze and fix the volume. So once you calculate the volume from your volume calculator app and simply fix the knob at that location and you dispense the same amount of volume. And with this, you are avoiding all the wastages. Not only this, the dispenser comes with the auto cutoff function. So you just keep this trigger pulled and it will be automatically cut off once the same volume has been dispensed. Not only this, it also comes with the anti-dripping function. That means there will be no drippage of the chemical and you can avoid wastages. The dispenser is compatible with all the motors that we have in India. So this, this is the beauty of the tool. It is a battery which is chargeable, dosing knob at the top of the dispenser, anti-dripping function and compatible with all the motors. And after Akash, now it's my turn to fix a rebar. Let me do it quickly for you.
So as mentioned by Akash, you need to dispense the initial three trigger pulls so that both the components of the motor get mixed. So we will also do the same procedure. So if you see, I have kept the dispenser at the continuous function. If you put the dispenser at this function, that will be continuous dispensing. And now we have punctured the foil. I will fix the dispenser back. And we will discard this initially dispensed volume. And now moving back to my drilled hole, which is already cleaned because of the hollow drill bit and vacuum cleaner. So if you see, it's an auto cutoff function, the same volume is dispensed and now we are ready to fix the rebar. So we are using a 20 mm rebar at a depth of 200 mm. And the correct process to fix the rebar is simply rotate it while inserting inside the hole. And we are done. So you can yourself see that we have minimized the wastages. There is almost zero wastage when we are using the battery operated HDE 500 dispenser. And now is the time when you will be answering few of the questions that you have asked in the comment section below. And I was just having a look and I found that Vishesh, you have asked us a question that what is the life of HD dispenser? First of all, thank you, sir, for asking this question. And Rohit, would you like to answer this question? Yes. So thanks for the question. It's a very nice question. And the life of this tool is 950 foils. So one tool can dispense 950 foils in its entire lifetime. 950 foils. And guys, please keep posting your questions in the comment section below because we would be answering them at the end of the episode. And now let's quickly recap three things that we discussed today. First, how to save time and help using hollow drill bit and vacuum cleaner. Second, how you can calculate the exact amount of chemical that is required by using volume calculator app. Third, how you can dispense the right amount of chemical and save money by using HD dispenser. And guys, not only this, if any of your friends, any of your colleagues is interested to know more about Hilti Innovations, about this system, so we request you to share this video with them. Also, do tag them in this video. We would love to hear from you. Also guys, we have posted a link in the description of the video below from where you can download the catalog of all the things that we have discussed today. So do not forget to click on the link and that's it from our side. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed the live session with my friend Rohit Tyagi. It was an amazing experience to interact with you all. Next episode, we will be coming up with another Hilti innovation where we will be talking about Hilti cordless portfolio. So stay tuned, stay safe. Till then, take care of yourself and see you all in the next episode. And do not forget to click on like, like share, share and subscribe. subscribe.